Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my June favorites. I have tons of stuff that I just found myself reaching for a fourth month of June. So here it is. I hope you guys enjoy it and let's get started. Uh, the first thing is this, um, it's this body cream. Now this is actually more a body butter type of thing. During the weekends here in Utah, they have um, they close off some streets and they have uh, like farmers markets where you know all, a whole bunch of farmers just go and sell vegetables, fruits, things like that. But they also have other little like kiosks type of things where they sell different things. So I went to this little stand where they had all natural body body butters. That's so hard to say body butters. So I found this one and this is in the scent brown sugar and fig and it is amazing it's all natural it's actually homemade and oh, it just leaves my skin so silky and so smooth when you grab it it's almost like you're getting it like whipped kind of like whipped cream almost i don't know but i love it the next thing that i've been loving this month is the nyx angel veil and you guys have seen me use this in pretty much all of my uh, makeup tutorials because I love this stuff. I don't think I mentioned it in my last June favorites because I believe I just picked it up last month when NYX had their 40% off sale. So I went ahead and grabbed this because it is pricey. I believe it's $15 regular price and I got it for... How much did I get it for? Six or eight dollars, which is way cheaper than their original price. I have just been loving this so much. It fills in my pores and it just leaves a really nice, clean, clear canvas for me to work with when I apply my foundation. And talking about foundations, the one that I've been loving again, and I know that I've talked about this in some of my previous um, monthly favorites. This is the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation and I am in the color Medium Dark 1 Syracuse. The reason why I started using this again is because I've been using the L'Oreal Pro Matte Foundation so much. But I feel like it can be a little bit cakey sometimes, especially now that it's super hot outside. And this is very lightweight and it's just perfect for those days where I don't want to wear too much makeup. But yet I still want something that's going to offer a nice coverage to my skin without me feeling like I have a pound of friggin' makeup on my face. So I've just been loving this foundation again. Um, and what I've been loving as well to apply my foundation is this brush right here. It's just a rounded um, kabuki brush, which I actually bought this one off of eBay. It came in a set. I will have that set linked down below. It's not any specific name or brand name, which I love because they're so affordable and the bristles are so soft. And it just applies my foundation so nicely and it doesn't leave any streaks on my face. So, I've been loving this. Talking about face products, I am obsessed with this Milani Baked Bronzer in the color Soleil number 05. I actually picked this up a couple of weeks ago because i just been wanting a new bronzer and this one caught my eye. So this is the one that I've been wearing pretty much every day since I've been doing my makeup. It's what's on my face today. I like it because it's not overwhelming with shimmer. It does have a little bit of like glitter to it, but when you apply it to your face, it just completely goes away. You really can't see anything um, as far as sparkles or shimmer goes. It's just a really nice glowy bronze color and then it has a little bit of gold flex in it which just gave me that really nice sun-kissed look. And the concealer that I've just been in love with is the Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Concealer Plus Corrector. And this is in the color Light Medium. Now, this one by itself can be a little too light for me, especially right now that I'm darker. But it is so perfect. It's so lightweight. It really reminds me so much of the Urban Decay Weightless Skin Concealer. Um, it's not as weightless as that one. It's pretty close to it. I wouldn't say that it's a dupe, but if you want something that's lightweight, this is definitely a good product, and I feel like it does cover up a pretty good amount of dark circles or blemishes, anything that you're trying to conceal. It really is a good product. Now, to set my concealer, this is something new, and oh my gosh, this is amazing. This is the Your Minerals Sweden um, transparent veil and this is just a setting powder I actually got this in my boxy charm and I know that I didn't put up a video for my boxy charm and the reason why 
was because I was having some issues with my camera with the lens. I don't know if you guys noticed how I was having some weird lines running through them and I was trying to figure out why that was happening and the SIM card where I had filmed my um, BoxyCharm it just completely deleted everything off of it and I just couldn't save it and I had already opened my box so I thought I would skip this month and not film it but this is one of the products that I got and it is so amazing it's so lightweight on the skin it just really brightens up right here this is what I have underneath my eyes today just to conceal this stuff is no joke um, I use it I like to use it to bake a little bit but if I apply too much it can look a little bit white so I do take just a small amount but it is so so good and it just stops my concealer from creasing it I mean it doesn't crease as much as it usually does so I love this these are the four new liquid lipsticks by ColourPop and these have just been my favorite i have i think three or four more sitting over there but these are just the ones that i have been reaching out for the most this one right here is called tool and it is just a gorgeous like a dusty rose but it's very much on the darker side this one has definitely have to be my favorite this one is limbo and it's just a dark brown i also have a makeup tutorial using this one and then I have Bumble. Bumble is by far, ugh, I love this. This is what I've been wearing so, so much. I posted tons of pictures on my Instagram and it is so pretty. And then the last one that I have here is Solo. Solo is more of a light pink. Nonetheless, it is perfect for dark smoky eyes or just anything that's intense on the eyes and you want to go a little bit nude on the lips. This is it. Next are these next are these lashes these are the ardell double up eyelashes in the style 207 i saw these at cvs and i was like whoop i'm taking you home because they are so pretty i love really dramatic and intense eyelashes i really don't go for natural lashes so i decided to pick these up and these are so gorgeous i popped them into the box just so you can see them and i also wanted to mention this glue this is the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive with Aloe, and this is in the color black. This stuff is no joke. If you apply it to your lashes, they are not going anywhere. They stay put. The only thing that I would say that is kind of a downer about this product is that when you take off your lashes, the glue stays stuck to your actual lashes, so you have to just sit there and actually take the time to pull off the glue otherwise you're gonna have some like eyelashes sticking together and then the rest of the products that I have are all lip products the first one is this lip lacquer by Rimmel London and this is in the color Luna and it is the most gorgeous pale orange I have ever seen this is the color right here <sighs> I am so in love with this color. It's like, like I said, that perfect pale peach apricot type of color. It looks a little bit darker on the swatch, but when you apply it to the lips, it's just like a really soft peach. I get so many compliments when I wear this. The only thing that I hate about this lip lacquer is that it literally lasts on my lips maybe 30 minutes, and I feel like I have to reapply it. So they're not very long wearing at all, but just the color, oh, it's totally worth it. The next one is this product right here. This is the Rimmel London Stay Glossy Gloss. And this is in Blushing Belgraves. It is that one right there. I don't know if you can see it, but I love it. It is so thick in consistency and it's so creamy. They smell a little... I'm not too fond of the smell because it's, it smells a little bit weird. But the product itself, it's just a gorgeous color. This is the lip gloss that I was wearing on a picture that I posted on Instagram where I was wearing that bright yellow on my eyes. I will have a picture here. It is so pretty and I like to apply it with this ColourPop Lippy Pencil and this is in Lumiere. And the last product that I have is another lip gloss. I've been loving lip glosses this month. I don't know why. This is the Maybelline. Um, This is the Elix the elixir i don't know how you pronounce that but it's a nude gloss this is in the number 60 nude and it is so gorgeous i've also used this in some of my tutorials and i love it if you've been wanting like a really nice nude gloss this is just like the perfect gloss 
when I don't know what to wear, but I know that I want to wear a lip a nude gloss. This is what I put on top, and it's just perfection. So those are all the products that I was loving for the month of June. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and let me know and share down below what your favorites were for the month of June, because I would love to check them out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and I'll see you guys in my next video.